Hello everyone, it's Mr Yardsley here. We're going to read a story for year one and it's called Elmer. I think you probably know it, read it a lot in school. A lot of stories about being different and celebrating being different and Elmer's one of them. Elmer's written by a man called David McKee and I really like David McKee's artwork again. Uh, if you're old like I am, there used to be a children's TV programme called Mr Ben and he wrote, drew all the artwork and told the stories for Mr Ben and I think they were absolutely brilliant. But I think Elmer was brilliant too. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that is, except for Elmer. Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was not elephant colour. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. What are they doing to him there? One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking. And the thing he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and he shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. You know what he's going to do, don't you? Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he'd finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. After that, Elmer set back off to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. Elmer smiled and said, Good morning pleased that he wasn't recognised. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way into the middle of the herd. Can you see him working his way in? After a while, Elmer felt something was wrong. But what? He looked around, same old jungle. Same old bright sky, same old rain cloud that came over from time to time, and lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. And finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell, always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. And then they saw Elmer helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said, it must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they'd never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst open and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, 
gasped one elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. See him being washed clean. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer Day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. And that is exactly what elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and they parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know who it must be. Can you see where Alma is? Nice and fat all. It's a storybook all about celebrating being different. And I think that's a lovely thing to think about because we do think about that a lot at our school, don't we? Because there's no outsiders at our school. Okay, year one children. Hope you're staying safe and you're staying inside. Remember our school motto, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. Keep smiling.